All right, I have my little home drafting set up here, my little drafting studio set up so we can start designing our tissue box. And I've shown you in the last couple of videos what that tissue box is going to look like. But before we actually get going with it, we have to design it. So we've done our concept sketch, and now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and start doing the detailed design. We're going to automate the process quite a bit, but first of all, we're going to design a, a working sheet that we can use over and over on this project to save us a lot of time. One of the things that you're going to be judged about, a lot about if you're into uh, engineering design or drafting design or any kind of graphics design is your ability to automate the design process. And that's what we're going to do with this first video here in this first tutorial is to kind of automate that process by creating a border sheet that we can use uh, several times. In fact, I would recommend that you take that border sheet that you use for this project and use it in your uh, binder and notepad that you carry around with you. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Got my ruler, got my racer shield, got my white racer, I've got my uh, technical uh, drawing pen. Now this is kind of an old style one here. Uh, this is one I used when I was back at uh, Johnson Space Center. It's a really, really nice drafting tool that uh, has a really long life of lead. So you can see the lead can go all the way out there like that. And you use a, a sharpener kind of like this one here, and you can use it to actually sharpen it by going back and forth to get a nice uh, sharp point. It creates a great line. But you know, the, the old traditional ones that you see, like little pencils, you got the white erasers on the top, the classic ones that you can buy at you know, Home Depot, or actually not at Home Depot, but at Lowe's, or you can buy at, um, I don't like Lowe's either, you probably buy it at Walgreens, or Walmart, or uh, Michaels, you know, a technical pencil, those are fine. Oh, I've got my trusty 3069 triangle here. I've got a, uh, <coughs> uh, ability to just maybe sharpen a point on an old pencil like this one here. I also have a drafting kit which I will use uh, this drafting kit to uh, draw the uh, isometric circle and also to use it to draw uh, some of the other stuff that we're going to need to draw in this particular project. But this is a really good old drafting kit I used to have, I've had, and uh, it's coming quite handy and we'll get a lot of use out of it in this project. So anyway, let's get started. Get that out of the way. We got our drawing tape down, which is good, and we're going to basically come over uh, three eighths of an inch, which is uh, actually uh, let's see one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. We'll make a mark here. We'll just come up here as well, and we'll turn that around. We'll make a mark at three eighths as well. So if I'm one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, we'll make us another mark there as well. The reason we're going to make a three eighths mark is because we want to give ourselves more room. And when we scan our drawing and bring it up into Illustrator so we can mass produce this, actually you can go with Photoshop so you can mass produce this. We're going to make these marks. Now the first couple of videos I'm going, to, I'm going to narrate and then after that I'm going to speed up the film so that, um, speed up the video so it's kind of like, uh, fast forward so that it uh, shows the uh, actual process that I need and repeat myself each time. Okay, so I've got my 3 8 inch marks all the way around our piece, as you can see here, and we we'll use our T-square uh, to start off with. I'm going to make myself a little bit of room over here. Take our T-square up here to the very top, set my drafting tools out of the way, and I'll take those two lines, and you know, you'd be surprised saying, well, one mark should have been fine. Yeah, it should have been, but a lot of times you're going to have T-squares that move on you, or they bend on you. So that's why I always like to put two lines in. You see that one there? I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draft uh, these two lines here up there. Come across here, I'll pull my line over. And you see the dark line there. All right, get my trusty old friend 3069. Come in here like this. And we'll draw a line from here up to there. All right, so you got that one in. Put that over. Come over here on this side and draw that line in from here up to there. All right. So that looks pretty good. We kind of smartened up that line a little bit there. Got a little overages there. We can erase that. Now, let's go ahead and uh, do a thing called divide and conquer. Divide and conquer is going to take the 11 inches that you see here, and I'll make a mark at 5.5 or 5.5. Make a mark there, and then. Eight and a half divided by two, you know that's going to be uh, four and a quarter. So we'll make a mark here. Now, in the previous ortho's ISOs that we had done, 
we came and put ourselves a center line, as you see right here, a mark right there, and a mark here. So these two designate the lower half of the drawing and the upper half of the drawing. So we're going to kind of continue that thought, uh, except we're going to do it a little bit differently this time. And this is in concept with, uh, or in concert with, the size of the actual parts you're going to have to draw for our tissue box. Okay, so we got those marks in. Now, in the last ortho isos, I showed you how to take and draw an inch above the center line, an inch above the center line, to create your orientation lines. Well, in this situation, we're actually going to go only a half inch up. We're going to make a mark, and we're going to come down here a half inch below and make a mark. So we got these two marks here. Come across the other side, do the exact same thing. Half an inch, and come over here, half an inch. Same thing across, as opposed to an inch. And the reason why is our parts are big. And if we go half scale on our parts, it's going to be very difficult to fit them on our worksheet, uh, our drawing sheet, uh, very clearly. So we're just going to go ahead and do that right there. So oops, I actually went a mark over, so we got to erase that. So I should have gone only a half inch over, so that's not bad. We erase that. So let's get our eraser to take care of that business right now. So I'm uh, just coming here put my eraser shield in, and I'll take that line out. Sometimes it's better just to line it up next to the ratio shield and go this way. It's gone. All right. I like it. So over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up uh, half an inch from the bottom and I'm going to make a title block. Now this is where it's going to be a little different from before. I'm going to come up half an inch off of my bottom part here. Instead of making one in this lower left quadrant, I'm going to make one all the way across. And that's perfectly allowable. Hey, it's your drawing. It's your product. Put it in your name. So I'm going to get drawing all the way across here, as you can see. And that looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, go to the center line here, where that is, right there. And line these two up, and I'll make me a line here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is a little off, so I have to work on that. So what I'm going to do now is fix that. So I'm going to take and draw that line a little heavier. Kind of compensate for that. And I think it looks pretty decent now. Now I'm going to sharpen my pencil just a little bit. So I've extended a little bit, put it in here. I'm going to go round and round. Now I hear it. So the graphite's coming out, so I get off the page here. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Really nice and sharp. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to come off the bottom of this probably about, uh, I'm going to come off about a sixteenth of an inch. And I'm going to go all the way up to an eighth maybe. Now let's do this. Let's do three sixteenths. Kind of like that. Three thirty seconds actually. Three thirty seconds. So I'm going to draw myself a light line all the way across here. That light line is going to put a name on it. So I'll come in here now, and I'll just write it a slant. It's kind of the old school way of doing things. I'm trying to conserve as much space as I can in the title block. I'm going to put my name in, which I want you to do the same thing. You're going to put your name in. You really want to write neat. If you can't write neat, we've got to fix that later in uh, probably Photoshop. So put that in for Richard. I'm going to put my last name in flat. Really getting excited about some of my students. So they're actually starting to draft better than me. So that's that's really exciting. Uh, of course, I don't let them know that. I just kind of give them a little racket about that. Um, so that's in. And then now I'm going to just come over here to the side and I'm going to put scale. Definitely their penmanship is better than mine. And on the scale, I'm going to put one inch, because I know I'm going to be working in one inch for the most part, and I put a colon here. I'm going to leave that blank, but I'm going to come back and determine it. Remember, what I'm creating is an automated drawing uh, process where I'm creating a drafting for my drawing set, a uh, border sheet that I'll use over and over again. And I guess if you're going to fix, one mark was wrong. So I'm going to press that right now, come back up here to the top. And we're going to put that mark in right there. So that's correct. All right, I like that. 
Now on the other side over here, uh, I'm going to leave this blank because I'm going to come back in and fill that up. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in now because I know what I'm going to be doing. This is going to be a tissue box. Since I've already kind of started a uh, pretty good accurate height, I'm just going to draw myself a white line across there so I'll know where I'm at. So I'm going to say tissue box. By the way, if you get a chance, go out on Pinterest and look at some of the wooden tissue boxes out there. I was completely inspired today on that and uh, really got me excited. I was planning on sharing some of those pins I found and I made um, in my class tomorrow so they can see some of the cool things that people are actually out there doing with tissue boxes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this kind of blank right here. I'm going to come over here and put a hyphen in this tissue box project. I'm going to put the uh, designation here, DWGs, which stands for drawing. And I'm going to put a colon here. Then I can come back and give it a name. All right. So that looks pretty good. Tissue box drawing, I'll say front, right, whatever. Okay, that looks pretty good. So we're going to stop for now. We're going to go over and scan this in. I'll make a video about scanning this in and you guys can follow along. And we're going to make a multiple set of border sheets of this so it will automate the process of doing our drawing. I'm going to clean a few things right here while I can. And uh, we're going to take care of that. Right here, it's kind of bugging me. Get that.